feel and vibe. Raw has a different feel and vibe a little bit from SmackDown. Where do those talents fit in the best? Um, to me, is is a large large part of that equation. So there are always talent in the PC, whether they're talent that were are coming from ground zero, having stepped into the ring for the first time at the PC, to talent the other way. The the that have been in it for a long time. You know, the the personality, the level of entertainment. Elias is, and and I, you know, when I bring up the Elias thing, I'm always concerned after I say it that people take it the wrong way, that it had nothing to do with his skill level or his, because he's, he's talented on all levels. It, it just, the, the, what he does and the way he portrays the character, the, the general entertainment of what he is and does, and the way he puts it out there, um, it, it's, it's just more suitable to to that main roster feel and vibe. And it was just keeping him in the system long enough for him to get the experience and the exposure, to learn the cameras, to learn all the other things that we do, and to become as polished as possible um, so that he could make the jump when he was ready. And when he was ready, uh, we, we put him there. Uh, if I would have put him there a year before, um, he wouldn't have made it. You know, it would have, he wouldn't have been ready. And, and then it's, it's hard to explain to people the level of spotlight that hits you when you hit Raw and SmackDown and how quickly that is, it, the, the success rate is determined. And a lot of that, you know, yes, you can say creatively the way things are done or whatever is done creatively, a lot of that comes also down to the talent. Um, the level of talent and what they do can make bad creative awesome. It really can. Um, it, a lot of it comes down to them and just what they're doing. And, and you know, and then of course the other thing I say to town a lot is that the business is a marathon, not a sprint. Everybody looks at you know what they're doing in the moment sometimes and says, um, you know, geez, they're just terribly misusing this or it's not being done the right way. It's, it, it's a marathon. And, and it, if you look back at the careers of any superstar in this business. Uh, at a high level, especially the most successful ones. The beginning is a lot longer. That beginning process where it's not working or, or it's you're just seeing glimpses of what's to come is a lot longer than you really think it is. In hindsight, it doesn't seem that way. You just see the success, but when you look back, it's a lot longer than you think. And all those other stutter steps and hesitations and the delays and the things that are the process of getting to that upper level, they, they all go away when they make it, and, and you kind of forget about them. You put them out of your mind. So 